But for now, our, our, I just wanted to say thank you for all your hard work this session. Uh, actually, uh, today started on a very positive note from my perspective because we met with the governor and we agreed that we were going to start uh, negotiating perhaps uh, some type of an interim agreement and we'll hope to do that soon and hope, hope with the, the uh, four legislative leaders and the governor and uh, we will not bring you down here if there's no reason for you to be here but hopefully we will be able to negotiate something come back shortly with uh, a, a interim agreement that can solve some of the problems we've been confronting for the last year and a half Everybody did uh, a great job working together uh, this year in the Senate. I'm very proud of that fact and look forward to coming back soon with uh, more good news. Thank you, Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen of the Senate. Um, I, too, have to tell you how proud I am of the Senate um, this session. Uh, I think generally we're known to be a more collegial body, a more policy-oriented body, and we prove that in the last several hours. We rejected a wildly out of balance budget. We um, agreed to pass a standalone school funding bill, albeit I think it needs quite a bit of work and I think we all agree on that. I think it spends way too much money. But we saw, we've also pledged together to work not only for a stopgap budget that will continue to fund critical state services, but also continue all the hard work of the working groups. And that's an effort that really started here in this body um, to continue to try to get the long-term reforms that we all need, we know, all know we need, as well as pass a truly balanced budget. So I think we should all congratulate ourselves. We have a long ways to go, but we've really done a good job under very difficult circumstances. Thank you, everyone.